Hi there, uh, I'm Daniel Kay. Uh, it's Sunday morning and I have some thoughts about Joker. Uh, Joker, uh, as of right now, is predicted to take the weekend with about $93 million, which breaks October records. Um, of course, October records aren't exactly Mount Everest, but it's still really interesting that this is happening because, well, okay, so Joker, there was a little advanced publicity on it, but uh, the advanced publicity on it was all bad. Uh, there were two things basically people knew about this movie going in. One is that it probably wasn't a very good movie. Um, Warner Brothers had uh, withdrawn press screenings, for example, which everybody knows is a bad sign. And the rumble was, eh, it's no fun. And the other thing was, this is a movie where we think maybe there's going to be some theaters shot up. Uh, we don't know which ones, we don't know where, but uh, there's an awful lot of um, incel violence potential for Joker. And based on those two things, people rushed out to see it. Uh, isn't that weird? Isn't that strange? Isn't that odd? Um, so I, I guess it says something about the American character in addition to saying something about the Warner Brothers publicity department. Uh, what it says about the American character is that Americans love um, an outsider. They love a um, an anti-hero. And Warner Brothers, by the way, is uh, the studio that's famous for making money off of anti-heroes, going all the way back to gangster movies in the 30s. But also are kind of thrill seekers. And actually, that kind of that worries me a little, you know, like... Um, hey, maybe I'll be at the theater where they get shot up. You know, uh, I don't know what to say about that. I, it, but like I say, um, I should also say, by the way, that I um, haven't seen Joker, and I think maybe I'll wait for it to come on video and then not see it there. Uh, because, you know, it looks like someone's going to shoot up a theater, and it's no fun.